are you? How's it going? I, I'm good. Good, good, good. I'm glad to talk to you again. Yes, I am very happy to be talking to you again, too. Thanks for having me back. Um, I did ask some, some of my fans on my um, Facebook page to give me some questions as well, so I'll throw a couple of them in there for them. Okay. Because they're, they're your biggest fans, and they sure love you. When I posted that I was going to be speaking with you, they were all excited. Oh, well, send them my love, definitely. I will, I will. Okay, so can you give us a little short something on what the Slow Burn Trilogy is all about? So fans know what they're getting into? Um, well, the Slow Burn um, series is, uh, you know, romantic suspense, a little more thrillerish than I've written in the past, but definitely romance. That is one promise I've given my readers. And it, the, what the thread that connects the books is that each heroine in each story has a uh, unique psychic ability. And it's set in the real world, uh, modern day society, um, no other paranormal activity. It just, you know, proposes the question, what if an individual had, you know, psych these psychic abilities? What kind of obstacles would they have to overcome? Uh, what kind of adversity would they face? Uh, what are the good things and the bad things about, you know, their gifts? And, um, you know, basically that kind of thing. In the first book, uh, keep me safe, uh, Raimi's gift, or rather her curse, is that she is able to track kidnap victims um, by establishing a link with them. The downside is that she experiences everything the victim does. Uh, she Ooh. endures everything the victim does. And so at the, at the start of the story, uh, the hero, uh, Caleb Devereaux, who is the head of a very wealthy family, um, his younger sister has been abducted and they have exhausted all leads. And so he is frantically, you know, searching everywhere for Raimi, who's kind of disappeared off the map. And when yeah. he does finally find her, he demands that, you know, she help him, and when she refuses, he's infuriated and, and thinks that she's very selfish to withhold a life-saving gift, but he doesn't understand the toll that it takes on her. So he forces yeah. her compliance, not realizing the hell that he has just unleashed on her. And when he does make that realization of just what he's done, he is appalled, horrified, and deeply remorseful, and determined to make it up, you know, to Raimi. But yeah. when he returns to make it up, she has once again disappeared and they are not reunited for a year. Uh, at which wow. point she comes to him for help because she literally has nowhere else to go. And that's kind of where their story begins. Um, but yes, it's full of twists and turns, um, wow. a lot of suspense, but you know, a lot of romance as well. And there are some kind of shocking events um, <laughs> towards the end of the book. I won't spoil it for anybody, but I don't think readers will see this one coming. And That's I awesome. think it's going to be, oh my God, did that just happen? Really? Um, That's so cool. Yeah, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just, I'm just kind of yeah. waiting to see which one it is. <laughs> Oh, exactly. So there'll be three in the in the series. Um, we have at least six planned right now between okay. me and my editor. Um, it's kind of open ended. It doesn't have a finite end. It really depends on readers, and how well okay. they respond to the series. If they want yeah. more, I'm more than happy to give them more. <laughs> um, where did the idea of the slow burn series come from? Was it um, something you plotted out, or was it kind of a fly by? Oh, gracious no. Uh, Keep Me Safe, the first book, and in his, uh, actually, in his keeping is the second book, but the first book, uh, Keep Me Safe, the third book, Safe at Last, have been stories that have literally lived with me and been burning a hole in my head for six years. Even before, wow. you know, when I was barely published, I had these ideas, and I, I remember talking to them with my beta reader and my um, brainstorming partner. She's the only person, you know, who ever reads, you know, my stuff before my editor gets it. And, you know, she's the only person I brainstorm with. And we both, when I told her about this, she's like, you've got to write it. And I was like, I know, right? <laughs> and um, I, I just, it, the timing was never right. And I, I really began to despair just because I had so many other commitments. I, I yeah. really wasn't sure I would ever get 
to really sit down and, and write this story, you know, the series and give it the, you know, the love and focus it deserved because I dearly, I was so invested in these characters already. So yeah. when quite by chance, uh, and when I say by chance, I really do mean by just sheer luck. Uh, I was given the opportunity to write this series. I was so excited um, because I waited for so long, you know, to, to yeah. be able to write it. And so the, that first story, oh, I loved every word. You know, just finally, it was so relieving just to finally get it out. And, you know, that's why I'm kind of holding my breath, you know, because when you're this invested in a book, of course you want readers to love it too. Of course, um, of and, and that's my hope you know, is that they, yeah. they respond, you know, well to it and they do want more because, you know, I, I love, I love the series. I love everything about it. So, you know, yes, I'd, I'd like to write many more. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, can you read these, um, this will be my last question for you. Do you need to um, read these as um, in order or can they be read as standalones? You, they can absolutely be read as standalones. They are connected uh, via secondary characters. Uh, okay. But they don't have any loose ends. There's no cliffhangers. Each story has, you know, a resolution and a happily ever after. Uh, for instance, the second book in his keeping features as the hero, the brother of the hero in the first book. But the okay. third hero is, uh, is, you know, like one of their employees, uh, one of the people who works in their security firm. So. You know, they can absolutely be read as standalones, but you'll see other secondary characters in the books. That's awesome. Well, it was great talking to you. I know that you're busy, and I'm so excited for your uh, new series, and I know the fans are going to love it. I hope so, and I hope you enjoy it as well. I will, and I will talk to you soon, and have a great, um, hopefully the weather's great over there on the East Coast. <laughs> yes, it is. It's beautiful today. Thank you. Well, enjoy your day, and thank you for talking with us. Oh, no problem. Anytime. Okay, bye-bye.